fighting northwest of Kiev continues as cities of Kharkiv, Chernihiv, Sumy and Mariupol are encircled by Russian troops. According to reports, Russian ground forces are 25 kilometers from the center of the Ukrainian capital. Rocket attacks destroyed a Ukrainian airbase and hit an ammunition depot in the Kyiv region. Sirens and explosions have also been heard in many cities across the country. Officials in Ukraine's second city of Kharkiv say at least one person was killed after residential buildings were hit by shelling. Ukrainian officials say Russia has again prevented civilian evacuations. Plans have been made to open up humanitarian corridors and get people out from cities under Russian attack, including Mariupol, where conditions are said to be critical. Authorities say that more than 1,500 people have been killed there and those who are left face freezing temperatures. The city currently experiences limited to no power and little food and water. Meanwhile, hundreds of residents have taken to the streets of the southeastern city of Melitopol to protest against the abduction of its mayor by Russian forces. In his latest video address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky demanded the mayor's release. He also revealed that 1,300 Ukrainian troops have died in the conflict so far and says Russia is sending new forces to Ukraine after suffering what Zelensky describes as Moscow's biggest losses in decades. I know that my colleagues here to the Prime Minister... The UK has sent six more plane loads of medical aid and equipment to Ukraine as Health Secretary Sajid Javid accuses Russia of war crimes in attacking medical facilities. Uh, this is a war started by Russia, completely unprovoked, completely unjustified, and what we are seeing from Russia especially the attacks on health facilities where the WHO have reported over I think 25 health facilities including hospitals have been targeted or uh, uh, hit for whatever reason completely unacceptable reasons uh, by Russian forces I mean this is a war crime and Russia will pay for the crimes that it is carrying out in Ukraine today The leaders of France and Germany have again held another round of phone talks with Russia's President Vladimir Putin. They called on the Russian president to declare an immediate ceasefire. The French president's office said after the meeting that Russian President Vladimir Putin showed no willingness to end the war. Ukraine's foreign minister says the country is ready to enter into negotiations with Russia, but that its forces will not surrender to Vladimir Putin's regime. Of course, this doesn't exclude the track of diplomacy and the need to talk and to find, find solutions. But uh, as President Zelensky said on a number of occasions, uh, we are ready to negotiate, but we are not going to accept any ultimatums and surrender. The conflict has now sent 2.5 million Ukrainians fleeing to neighboring countries. And the situation, really, I can't speak without uh, tears. I'm sorry, but I'm really sorry for my country. And nobody could expect this, really. This is awfully awful things. They're bombing Kharkov, they're bombing Nikolaev. It's only 120 kilometers from Odessa, and it's painful inside. <laughs> 